if you don't know, now you know. There is none like him. There is none. There is none like him. There is none. There is none like him. There just is none. Hosanna, Hosanna. In the highest Hosanna, Hosanna. There is none like him. We've all searched. We didn't believe it. But once we got you can participate in. Amen. Just hold on. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All we don't carry everything to God in prayer. Why would you want to miss out on this peace that God affords us? Only because you won't take everything to God in prayer. And once you start taking things, once you get a relationship, He knows your name. He knows every thought. He sees every tear that falls. He knows your name, and because of that, we have the advantage. Oh, Lord. Praise the Lord. I am just glad. I'm glad for all that God has done. I'm grateful for this way that he has taken us. I'm grateful for the way that he has taken me. I'm just thankful that he is the head of my life. Yeah. And I can say that with all confidence. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it may feel like. Yeah. At the end of the day, I'm like, right. creating us a clean heart, yeah. creating me a clean heart so that we may run this race. Yeah. So I give honor to God, mm. who is the head of my life. Yeah. I give honor to the shepherd. I thank him for all his ways. I want to thank him for every single one of you that have come this morning. I give honor to you this morning. I give honor to the clergy that are here. I just give honor to God's people this yeah. morning. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Have you ever considered if you were to be invited on a getaway that was all paid, mm -hmm. all inclusive, mm -hmm. for, from a friend that 
you trusted, mm. that always had your best interest at hand, yeah. would you just go? Yeah. Would you just go? All you had to do was follow instructions. Yeah. Be ready on time and go where you're told to go. How many of you would just go? Perfect. I'm in the right place. Get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house, to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great. And I will show, and you shall be a blessing, excuse me. I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse him who curses you, and in you all the families of the of the earth, excuse me, shall be blessed. Mm -hmm. So Abram departed mm -hmm. as the Lord had spoken to him, and Lot went with him. Mm -hmm. And Lot went with him. Mm -hmm. So there is an attachment in our getaway. If you would bow your heads. Father, we're just grateful this morning. We're grateful for your presence. We're grateful for you meeting us here. Thank you for the first wise putting on this celebration, Lord. We just pray that you would continue to dwell with us, Lord. I pray that you would bless your hearers, Lord. Bless your word to the hearers, Lord. I pray that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. In Jesus' name, all God's people say amen, and you may be standing in the presence of God. One of the commentaries that I was reading and following says that with the father who worshiped idols and a city dedicated to wickedness, Abraham was not raised in the best environment. A lot of us have that story. We don't have the best, but that doesn't, God, he doesn't care about that. He has a plan and a purpose. Yet when God called Abraham, believed, Abraham believed, and by faith he followed God's instructions. It takes faith to listen and follow because the natural mind tries to put its stamp on it, but when God says something, try to hurry up and separate the two. Try to hurry up and separate the two. There were several, several versions of this passage that I looked at, and one of them said, get out of your country. One of them said, leave your country. And one of them just said to go. And in my study, I'm like, well, Lord, okay, it sounds like a sense of urgency there. So if the Lord would have said, okay, Abel, I would like for you to leave your country and leave your kindred, all of your relatives, and your father and go. But this, get out and go and leave, sounds like, yeah, there's some urgency there. And I'm sure that had to be the interpretation for Abraham because he just went. So, somehow his faith kicked in and was like, oh, this is serious. I need to get going. And how many of us have heard directions from God that you knew were urgent? You didn't have time to think about it. You didn't have time to play 
about it. You just knew that that call that you heard from God, it was urgent. You didn't have time to question. You said, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. I am going. So the urgency. Be careful when there is an urgency when you receive directions from God. It is said that Abram heard the voice of God. And there's no hint that when God spoke to him that he questioned that it was really God. It was like he knew it. Yeah. It was like his soul knew that that had to be God. Abraham's call was a call to salvation first and then a call to service. Because you're not going to have this hearing from God if you don't have a relationship with him. You first must be born again. You, Jesus must be your Lord and Savior first off before you can participate in this constant communication Amen. that's going on with that's God. Right. That's right. Amen. Abraham, Abraham's life was changed instantly yeah. because he trusted God and he was set out on a new course for his life. Why do you think God just calls us away? First of all, we were born into sin after the fall of man. There was a disconnection that was never intended for man. So when God calls us away from that state of familiarity, it's because he loves us. That is not the original state that he has for us to stay there.